video we're going to show you how to uh, add your AdSense to your website. Um, if you have a Google AdSense account, it's good. And uh, you also want to add it to a new website, or if you don't, if you everything is new, is fine. Uh, but now what I want to show you that now to a scenario where somebody has a Google AdSense already. You understand? That's something which is going to help you to understand what is going on here. So I'm going to say AdSense, and I say OK. Uh, when I say AdSense, and says OK, and I say it can give me somewhere where it can say Add Site. I click here and say Site. If I click on Site, uh, these are the sites already I have, then say Add Site. If I say Add Site, uh, uh, then I'm going to put a site there. It's going to be Makuija. Uh, there's a site which I asked Makuija. Okay, I'm going to get it here. Um, go google.com. If you go to google.com and go to uh, DSTV installation Alexandra. So you do that. I'm going to get the first site here is what I'm looking for. After getting that site, uh, I'm going to take it like this. I copy that site and then I do what? I go to, uh, let me see. Thanks. Okay, that's something we tested. Okay, no stress. We put that here. And we say next. After saying next, it says that add your AdSense code. Okay, they want me to add the access AdSense code, but now what are the guidelines? They say copy and paste the code in your HTML of your, your website between the head and the head tags. Place the code on your every page you want to show at words. After you have run some checks, your site will be ready to show ads. Remember to go to ad ads and choose the ad formats you want to show. WordPress user, then you do this. If you're using WordPress, you're going to do something else. Uh, you can use Word. WordPress is easy because you can use what they call a site kit for Google. It can help you to do that. Yeah, then anyway, we're here and uh, I'm going to copy this. After copying that code, I want to be having my FTP. It's the site I want to display uh, things in. So I'm going to look for, uh, let me click here. Okay, that's the site here. Okay, I'm going to look for a file manager. And I go to, I might be using WCP, CWP control. Uh, it's a little bit different but okay anyway the major goal here is to go to your FTP folder and you go to www um, let me go there okay uh, themes whatever okay if you're here then you look for I wanna look for index uh, I got index.php let me ask this one is index.what let me see pages I have okay I have PHP pages uh, in that in most cases HTML is not considered as HTML is considered as good but in most cases PHP uh, they, they, they do what always it, it does uh, it does take PHP HTML first so they say we have to copy that code and put it between the header and uh, that is something I'm going to put here so then when you reach here Make sure you mark it because you don't want something which is going to give you trouble. So after putting that, I'm going to try to also mark here and say mm, AdSense. I want to go inside here and say 1, 2. I go back and say AdSense. Okay. After putting that AdSense, then I know that AdSense starts there. Then I'm going to save this. After saving that, I want to go to also PHP page. Then I put in there and I go to different pages, then I put it there. So if you're using HTML and PHP, 
it's gonna be this is gonna be the only solution to do that but uh, other pages also other people who are using uh, WordPress just is a plugin you use it's gonna be simple but also there's a the ads.txt that one they tell you to put it in your what they call in your um, uh, in your FTP so I think PHP this PHP doesn't work uh, I'm gonna I wanted to maybe remove it rename if I rename it I'm gonna put one or whatever then I save I see if my website is still working fine then it won't have any stress so after that I'm gonna come and say okay after doing that I'm gonna also go to a different page here like uh, uh, let me see price send email okay I'm gonna send email here that's where I get a lot of people here okay between the head you can see here uh, I'm gonna put here and uh, I'll do what I save after saving that it's gonna be super fine then I can go back here and I say okay that is fine so after saving that I can go back to Google and say submit okay URL must be valid to tap level did you mean to enter what do they mean here uh, I don't understand so submit URL must be valid top level domain did you mean to enter okay uh, HTTPS okay 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 maybe they're giving me some warnings here uh, okay top level for domain example dot com okay there's no stress we can put that for example dot com say next that's what they're telling me they say copy that code and put it there I'm gonna copy that code I will submit because I did put the code already uh, I'm gonna also go to another page remember we put this code already but I'm gonna go to another page and I put that in another page uh, it's gonna be service page service page please get me right uh, we go to service page and uh, we come to service and uh, we go to between the headers head 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 where it I want to see where it ends that's where I want to work from uh, then yeah here it is here and uh, I'm putting this here and after putting that I'm gonna come and say uh, we're talking about one two three four then I say AdSense AdSense okay after that I'm gonna save after saving I'm gonna say okay it's fine um, I'm gonna since I did submit let me see where we are after submitting it says um, manage domains uh, no domains added yet what are they trying to mean get your site ready sure okay add sub subdomains no, I don't want to add any subdomains I'm gonna go back and I look for sites uh, please give me sites show sites okay these are the sites we put uh, okay let me go next and let's see if I can see that domain okay you see this domain um, they say it's getting ready sometimes they can allow this to work after 24 hours you get me so after 24 hours you might see uh, when they approve it it's gonna say ready you get me so now you can go to ads if you want ads and uh, put ads there so when you put ads there we want to see if that gonna work for you so let me see when you put in ads it doesn't mean that uh, ads are on 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 okay you can take any ads you want because sometimes you rename them the way you want to rename okay you can see these are off and I want the you see this is the new website we put it's they are off so you can come here and uh, you see why they are off okay okay it went there and it showed me something else uh, instead of showing me the domain I wonder why it did this instead of showing me the domain it shows me this okay so auto ads we can say auto ads example okay so instead of showing me the domain it shows me something else let me go and see something here uh, 
it's the same thing we've done here. Uh, okay, they are off, but it's okay. Until when they approve them, once they approve them, it's gonna be they're gonna be on. So uh, I would like to do something else here. Uh, okay, what's new? Okay. Um. Okay, that is done. But there's something I wanted to do also. Uh, sites uh, in tell whatever content and all that. Okay. Uh, ads at work. Let me go. Home. I wanna go home and say ads. Uh, if I go to ads, then I click here. Um, MP by ad unit by the ad unit. Let me see here. I can display ads and uh, okay. I want this. Uh, I wanna use this here. Uh, if I go here, edit. C report. Okay. Great ads with new stuff. You can see report here. You can edit here if you want to edit. Okay. Okay. You can cancel or you can go back here. Uh, I want to get you something. Okay. In, in line between whatever text. Okay. You don't edit there. Let me see. Uh, let me, let me I want to click on this ad. I want to get something for you guys. Uh, let me see reports. Okay. The reports. Like one. You get me? These are reports how the ad is working. Um, I don't want to do that. You can click and see how it's been. Uh, it's been working. Maybe performing for a month, the last month, six months. All of that. I want to go back to ad. And. Uh, me click here and see what's gonna happen here. Um, okay, add load page exclusive, whatever, all that. Okay, Let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, let me see. Let me go back here. Uh, there's some ads I can get. Uh, let me see. Eight, one out to eight. Um, let me see. Get code. Yes, this is what I want. Uh, this is the ad, so you can copy this ad. Okay, place the code on every page across your site, and uh, Google will automatically, uh, okay, show ads on all website pages you you have placed this thing to. Okay, okay, this is gonna be good, but uh, they used to have a what? Um, they used to have. Uh, they used to have what they call display ads. Um, they used to have um, whereby you can get, you see like this ad. So when you get that ad, it's a create. Okay, when you create that, you need to name. Okay, they say you need to name that ad to be fine. Okay. Okay, I don't see a way to name this. Okay, create the ad. Horizontal. You, you choose what you want to use. If you want that, then say, okay, let me see. Okay, fix box. Okay, you can choose ad size if it tells you this. Uh, okay, hit up, that's why it tells you to create the, the name. I'm gonna say uh, DS MTV. Okay, ad. Okay, I wanted to create this ad only, so then do that after doing that I'm gonna copy this code this is what I wanted to say copy that code after copying the code say done so since I've copied that code so I want to go and check my okay my prices okay then I go home here can you go can you go home yes I can go home oh home not found you can see home not found what because there was something crazy something crazy is uh, we did change our ftp folder thing okay it's okay but we're gonna get it right so this index it was calling index i believe oh uh, then rename that guy okay okay i'm gonna rename that guy php okay okay after renaming that guy and uh, we go okay index.p 
PHP. Okay. Then we're gonna also rename this guy. I want to rename this guy and see what's hap what's happening. Okay. Okay. Please rename me. Okay, so T T T T. Okay, then we say okay. Then we're gonna see uh, index. Okay, that's oh, that's why it was calling index.php. Okay, that's super good. Then if we there and uh, we want to do something else, uh, we're gonna go and you see the ads we we copy. Uh, we're gonna put them in this uh, edit code what page this page then after the header where do you exactly want to put I want to put my choice whatever whatever so I want to put it exactly after somebody has skipped the buttons so uh, I'm gonna look for the section header header this way it closes then I have this section I have this section then I'm gonna put them down here so after testimonials put them down there you save those are ads now those are not things to play with so you go back here and uh, you get your PHP uh, you remember PHP edit that oh, it gives me some problem it doesn't give me a chance to edit it uh, oh I wonder why oh, this could be okay one of the reasons why our website is not working so we can do this uh, we can rename this guy and we say rename this guy to uh, www then you save him then what we do here uh, you know you have to be good at HTML to play with these things uh, here we can say index dot PHP okay let me make it small letters PHP then we say enter after entering then we're gonna see if everything is okay so when you get that right uh, we're gonna see if our page is working so let's see let's see let's see okay we're gonna see okay okay you can see now that was something else you can see that okay that's something we don't need so it took us to that so now we can see what is wrong what is right the PHP this one the HTML one it was HTML and it has to be my okay this one is the right one we're gonna take it out and uh, we make it index index index.php after doing that then our website is gonna come back okay so let's see what happens here it's gonna happen here okay I didn't I didn't make it right okay right right I think I didn't rename it well so this is what I have to let me see if you do edit this it's gonna be no yeah this is the thing we didn't rename so this is something we have to rename this one uh, and this we make it different so so we're gonna make this one to be uh, 1222 then that one is the one we're gonna make to be this one is the one we're gonna make to be the right one so rename how do you rename you're gonna do this okay okay so that's fine uh, if it's the first time if for the website to display these uh, ads it might take longer to 24 hours uh, sometimes it might be quicker and uh, if it takes more than 24 hours just be a little bit patient everything's gonna be fine I'm 100 percent sure so now what I'm gonna do here you see remember we put a code here but we didn't put the code to display that code confirms that you are you see adsense you you are the what publish and whatever all that thing you 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 put in something to show that you are one of the people google gave permission to publish or to what 
so now what you do here you can now start doing what posting your your advertisements here so i'm gonna place the ads here uh, i wanna see somewhere uh, wherever i can let me see uh, introduction dstv whatever so i'm going to put that exactly here after the header so that i can see everything so okay you can see dsm tv art so it shows here you get me so i'm gonna save and uh, i go back to my website uh website here go back here okay 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 the same equation okay we're gonna say dstv this guy okay we say services that's where we put the ad on the page you get me so they have to show here but since they're not showing it simply means we're waiting for what for the permission from them so once we get that it's gonna be fine google once they approve your ad then everything is gonna be fine so you can go back and say adsense uh then um okay okay after doing that you can say sites wait for 24 hours the ads gonna display automatically so if they do approve the site if the site is HT, you can see still pending getting ready uh, so if the site is HTTPS it could, it could be one of the reasons why they're gonna give you and if it's not HTTPS also they might not allow it but uh, guys I think that helps thanks for watching and see you in the next video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment box below uh, see you in the next video